I will be showing you how to achieve this look and I'm using the Maybelline blushed nudes palette for this namely the three gray green taupe colors these ones right over here I thought that it's a really nice subtle and classy way of incorporating some festive green into your makeup look this season I also have two different lip options there's a nude lip option and a darker lip option for the look so if you want to see how I achieve this just keep watching I'm I keep getting distracted I don't think you can hear it because of the microphone that I have but I share a wall with my neighbors and every now and then there's just like hours and hours of drumming and bass noise in my head there's like a secret underground band that they have I never see them with any instruments or anything but there's got to be a band or something and they always have band practice in the morning and it always lasts for hours and it's like on odd days of the week it would be like a Tuesday morning a Sunday morning totally random and they didn't make any noise for a few months but now this morning it just started again so I guess the band is back together anyway I just wanted to let you know what I prepped my skin with I don't have any makeup on but I did use the Dr. Brand oxygen facial I really love these quick oxygen face masks I find them awesome especially now during the holiday season they are the best to use to prep your skin for makeup I find that they instantly make your skin feel more plump and nourished and brighter and even though it's not like a long-lasting life-changing effect I think that they work really well in a pinch apply the mask on your damp face you wait a couple of minutes for it to foam up and then once the foam stops forming you could just rinse it off with cool water and then you just your feet your skin just feels and looks a lot better looks nice and tight and then my favorite face primer especially for special occasions I'm using the Dior capture to tell dream skin and I only use one pump of this and I don't use a moisturizer I do have like oily combination skin right now and I don't feel the need to use moisturizer underneath this if you are more normal or dry you will want to try using a moisturizer underneath because this by itself is might might not be moisturizing enough. Okay, I'm going to mix two foundations because even though the Makeup Forever Ultra HD it looks really nice and um, really nice in photos and the color match is really good. It's not ideal if you want it to last a long time and if you have oilier skin. I think this is an awesome product if you are more normal to dry, but if you do tend to get oily in the T-zone, I I don't find this to last as well so in order to kind of make it last longer I'm going to mix it with a little bit of the L'Oreal infallible pro matte foundation I'm gonna mix these two together on the back of my hand I always apply the bulk of my foundation in my chin area where I feel like I need the most coverage and I use the least amount of product on my forehead my forehead is pretty clear And I do find these foundations really buildable, so I don't feel the need to use a separate concealer for blemishes. And I'm just using whatever I've left over on the back of my hand to kind of build the coverage in the areas that I need. Alright, so moving on to the eyes, I am using the Maybelline Blush Nudes Palette. There's this really pretty trio of colors in here. There's like a really pretty taupe and a very pale greenish gray and this really interesting darker moss gray type of color so those are the colors that i'm going to use for this look i am going to start by putting a little bit of a crease color down so i'm just going to take this color here and use that on a fluffy blending brush this is a sephora number 13 brush just give a little bit of warmth and definition to the Eye. and I already did prime my lids with Urban Decay Primer Potion add this darker color this dark taupey gray I'm going to add that all over the lid I'm gonna pack it on with a Mac um, this is a 239 brush I wish this palette had a mirror I'm just gonna keep packing on the color and then I'm gonna take the other side of the brush and dip it in this light gray green shade just focusing on the first quarter of the eye like the inner corner this is a really nice soft pearly 
finish. Nothing is like chunky, shimmery. I'm going to use the dark grayish green color and I'm using a Laura Mercier crease brush and I'm going to use that just in the outer part of the crease to get some drama and some extra definition in there. I'm going to take out just a MAC 217 brush and I'm just going to mix these two colors like the taupey color with the dark greenish gray. I'm going to mix the two. and intensify the crease. Now I'm taking a pencil brush, this is a MAC 219, and I'm dipping it again just in both of those two colors. And I'm gonna apply it on the lower lash line. I'm gonna take the same brush, dip it in that dark, the darkest color again, and I'm going to Apply it just in the outer corner, again, close to the lash line to intensify it a little bit. Then I'm just taking the small uh, MAC 226 brush and I'm dipping it in the light color, that pale greenish gray. And I'm going to apply all that in the inner corner. All right, now I'm gonna conceal my under eye area. So I'm going to take, I'm using Claren's Instant Concealer and this is in the shade two. I really dislike the shade selection of this. Um, like number two is kind of too pink by itself. Number one is too light. So I'm actually gonna take Lancome Effacerance Concealer and this is the color Medium Beige. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of it, mix it in with that Claren's and kind of just customize my under eye concealer shade. I'm just gonna take my beauty blender and go over that to make sure that everything's nice and blended. And then to add a little more brightness, I'm going to use the baking method with the Laura Mercier uh, brightening under eye powder. I don't know if this is the correct way to bake, but this is just what I do in that's, that's what's been working for me. So I'm just taking the Beauty Blender, dipping it in the powder, and then I carefully place it underneath the eyes. I try to not to go too close to my lash line, and whatever I have left over on the Beauty Blender, I just kind of dab it on the center of my face. So while the baking happens, I am going to do my eyebrows and I'm using Hourglass Arch Eyebrow Pencil in the color Ash. Now I'm going to add a little bit of extra green. I'm using this MAC eyeliner and it's in the color Forever Green. And I'm just going to use it on my waterline and just gonna smudge it in the lower lash line as well. This is a really pretty murky green color. And I find this really flattering when you use it on the lower lash line and in the waterline of brown eyes. Next, I'm going to tight line and I'm using the Hourglass. Uh, this is a 1.5 millimeter, super, super thin mechanical gel eyeliner. This is the perfect product to use to tight line or any sort of like waterline work. It's awesome. It's so subtle, so precise. The color's like in a nice intense black and it'll last a long time, so. Finishing off with mascara, I am curling my lashes and I'm going to use CoverGirl Super Sizer Mascara. This stuff is awesome. This just gives the best length, volume, separation, everything. Love it. I think this is my favorite mascara of this year. Alright, now it's time to take off that extra powder and I'm just using a Cosette S150 brush. And I'm just dusting all that off. And the result is a nice bright under eye area and the concealer will not crease, will not move. So we all want that extra ethereal glow and I'm going to use the Wet n Wild. I don't know why they market this as a bronzer because this is not a bronzer. This is like a highlighter. This is what it looks like. It just has a very, very soft satin sheen. It's 
A nice drugstore dupe for the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. Thanks to my friend Vanessa from the Bombshell Suite. She's been talking about this product for years and I finally got to try it this month and I've been, I've been enjoying it so far. So I'm using a big Sonia Kashuk brush, just going to town and applying it all over my face. Now I'm going to apply a little bit of bronzer. This is my go-to bronzer, Too Faced Chocolate Milk Chocolate Soleil. It's the lightest one. And I'm using a MAC 187 brush. And for blush, I'm using another old favorite. This is Tarte Exposed. And I just want a hint of color. So I'm using this with the NARS Yachio brush. And sometimes what I like to do is to take my crease brush and I dip it in the blush just a tiny little bit and run it through the crease. And it just kind of brings the look together a little bit more. And now for the lips, I have two possible lip combinations to go with. Uh, the first is the nude option and this is Lancome Bronzel Lip Liner and my favorite nude lipstick right now, Bite Beauty Caramel. So I'm going to show you the nude option first. So this is the nude option and then the second option if you want to go a little bit more dramatic you can use a darker matte lip and this is Charlotte Tilbury Bond Girl. I like to use Charlotte Tilbury Bond Girl on lips that are a little bit muted, so I just take whatever I have left on my beauty blender or foundation brush and just kind of tone my lips down a little bit. And this is the look with a darker lip. But that concludes my makeup tutorial. I hope you're having an amazing week and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.